Saint Power hosted the 9th National Science and Engineering Fair at Addis Ababa Science and Technology University in Addis Ababa from November 12 to 15. 125 students from 29 STEM centers across 10 regions of Ethiopia showcased their innovative projects aimed at addressing real-world challenges through science and engineering. The objective of this project is uh, to uh, a digital home system that can monitor uh, your home activities uh, to have different type of sensors such as flame sensors, motion sensors, uh, temperature sensors that allows the parents to manage its house uh, properly. In this Android application, the uh, parent can manage the real-time location. It can, loc it can locate uh, the child whenever he wants because one of the crucial things about parenting is uh, knowing the place that your child spends. And in this program, it's programmed in uh, uh, Android Studio, and it has a graphical user interface that can that have a text of Amharic, which means a local people can understand the language easily. They will uh, give the, the the child's phone number, and after they press the, the search button, or in Amharic it, it says Falik, it will uh, access the location of the child, and it will give him the exact location at that specified time. The another feature of the program is. When, whenever the child is uh, using his computer, it is screen recorded, which means later the parent can access it and see what, ha what has the child access through his computer, both Android and uh, Windows operating system. This allows, uh, this allows to, man to control the, both the digital features, which can help the child to focus on education. The project I brought is called Autonomous Care Pro System. Uh, the motive for this, for this project was uh, that a lot of crops are damaged every year by birds and different uh, uh, insects and uh, we were motivated to uh, solve that problem or decrease the number of damage caused by those uh, uh, birds. We have made this robot. It is composed of uh, Arduino servos and a laser light and we have a server or a computer and we, we are using a mobile phone as, a, as our camera and uh, how this works is our camera is the source of uh, the video and what happens is the video from our camera is live streamed to our computer or our server and what happens is uh, the, the computer re uh, receives the video and processes the video and then there is uh, an AI model that we have developed that detects the birds and when it detects birds, it uh, converts its, their position or coordinate into server angle. And for testing purpose, we have a video of uh, birds here. The AI detects the video, the birds in the video, and it moves the laser according to those coordinates. My project is mainly focused on agricultural purposes. Agricultural yields are uh, reduced by uh, diseases and other factors. So what, what we did is we detected their disease so that we can tell it um, it has a disease. We're going to click on the start robot so that uh, the, the robot can start its uh, job so that it can detect all the plants and detect if it has disease or not. Uh, let's start here. Yeah, and now what it's doing is uh, it's waiting for the temperature, humidity, and uh, uh, the soil moisture to measure and for it to come back. Now it's receiving data from the uh, phone and the robot itself. Uh, what it's doing is it's receiving the uh, temperature, humidity, and the mo soil moisture from the robot and it's receiving the image from the uh, mobile phone and it's uh, gathering it the information and checking the, uh, predicting the image, what it can be, whether it's a disease or it's healthy. Now it's going to uh, WhatsApp and send it to your uh, phone number. Uh, our 
project is virtual automation. It combined virtual uh, virtuality and uh, uh, home automation. The aim of this project is uh, enhance accessibility and control any uh, electronic device by gesture based. Uh, first, uh, I control uh, the PC cursor by uh, finger. Like it detects my hand. Uh, when uh, we click thumb finger and uh, index finger, uh, we move the, uh, the index finger, it's a scroll. That, the other feature is uh, control a bulb and uh, switch by gas service. Uh, it's uh, on and it's off. My project is a robotic arm. Uh, this uh, robotic arm mainly used for uh, disabled person or one hand, one handy persons uh, or that have uh, no uh, right hand or left hand. So uh, if the right uh, if the right uh, hand is disabled, uh, we uh, put this uh, robotic arm on the shoulder of their uh, on the on their shoulder. So uh, in the other side of their hands, or the, in the normal side of the hand, uh, they, in, in every joint there is a flex sensor. Uh, so the flex sensor records the movement of the normal hand. Uh, so it repeats to the robotic uh, arm. So when I show the ultrasonic sensor my hand, so it moves and it gives high, a, a high for me.